In this video, we'll be taking a look at two WNBA games happening on August 24, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two WNBA games games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Connecticut Sun vs. New York Liberty The top two teams in the Eastern Conference of the WNBA are set to face each other on Saturday when the Connecticut Sun make the short journey to Brooklyn to compete against the New York Liberty. Currently, the Sun hold the second spot in the conference standings but have yet to secure a victory over the Liberty this season. The Liberty, who boast the best record in the WNBA, are focused on clinching the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. On Saturday night, the Connecticut Sun are preparing to take on the New York Liberty, the leading team in the WNBA. NBA in Brooklyn. The Sun come off a thrilling victory from their most recent game, a 69-61 win against the Los Angeles Sparks on Tuesday night at TD Garden in Boston, where they played in front of a crowd of 19,000 fans. This audience was the third largest in WNBA history and the largest ever for the Sun. With this win, Connecticut improved their record to 21-7 before returning to their regular venue on Friday night to face Angel Reese and the Chicago Sky. This season, the Sun have struggled against the Liberty, having lost all three of their previous matchups. They will aim to break this losing streak on Saturday night at Barclays Center. Connecticut ranks 8th in the WNBA for scoring offense, 9th in field goal shooting, and 8th in 3-point offense. They are 10th in 3-point field goals made per game. Defensively, the Sun lead the league in scoring defense, rank 7th in field goal defense, and are 2nd in 3-point defense. However, they are only 9th in total rebounds per game and 2nd in fewest turnovers. Connecticut ranks 3rd in the WNBA for point defense differential with a plus 6.6. The New York Liberty seem to be on a mission this season. As one of the original WNBA teams, the Liberty have yet to win a WNBA title despite their successful history. This season, they have started strong and maintained their momentum. Entering this game with a 25-4 record, the Liberty recently swept a back-to-back -back series against the Dallas Wings at home this week. The Liberty are aiming for their fourth consecutive win over the Connecticut Sun on Saturday night. They have been dominant on both sides of the court this season, ranking second in scoring with over 80 points per game. The Liberty lead the league in field goal shooting and are fourth in three-point shooting, also topping the charts in three-point field goals made per game. On the defensive end, New York ranks third in defensive scoring, second in field goal defense, and fourth in three-point defense. They are second in total rebounds per game and third in fewest turnovers. The Liberty holds the top spot in the WNBA for point differential with a plus 10.3. Throughout the WNBA season, the New York Liberty have demonstrated their superiority over the Connecticut Sun, winning all three previous encounters. Given that the Sun are on the second half of a back-to-back, -back, they may be fatigued for this game. A key factor has been the Liberty's offensive prowess, with a top-ranked 107.5 offensive rating compared to the Sun's 102.3, which ranks fifth. Both teams are effective at limiting quality perimeter looks, with Connecticut ranking second in opposing three-point percentage at 30.9%, while New York is fourth with a 32.6% opposing three-point percentage. Monitor Sabrina Ionescu's availability as game time approaches. If she plays, the Liberty are likely to secure an easy win. Without her, the game could be closer. Nevertheless, I am leaning towards the Liberty for several reasons. The Sun will find it challenging to keep up with New York's scoring. While the Sun boasts the WNBA's top scoring defense, they are less effective in defending the interior. They rank 7th in field goal defense despite being 2nd in 3-point defense, which suggests that the Liberty, with players like Brina Stewart and Jonquil Jones, will likely target the paint. The Sun rely on creating turnovers and easy scoring opportunities, but the Liberty are third and fewest turnovers. Additionally, the Sun are on a back-to-back -back while the Liberty will be well-rested. It is uncommon to see the Connecticut Sun as such significant underdogs, but I still favor the Liberty. The Sun have struggled recently, failing to cover the spread in six of their last eight games. After nearly losing to the Sky as big favorites, the Sun face a well-rested, home team in the Liberty. 
who are 3-0 both straight up and against the spread against the Sun this season. The Liberty have won their last 8 games against the Sun overall. The Sun are 3-9 against the spread in their last 12 games as underdogs of 7 or more points, making the New York Liberty to win and cover the spread as favorites are full game side pick. In their previous three meetings this season, all games between the teams have ended with the total points falling under the expected amount. The Liberty could face offensive challenges if Ionescu is unavailable. Regardless of her status, the Liberty are likely to exploit the Sun's interior defense rather than focusing on three-point shots. Despite leading the league in three-point field goals per game, the Sun rank eighth in scoring, and the Liberty's strong defense will limit Connecticut's easy baskets from turnovers. Both teams play excellent defense, and this trend will likely continue in their upcoming matchup. In the previous three games, a total of 452 points were scored, averaging 151 combined points per game between the Connecticut Sun and the New York Liberty. Both teams are tied for second place with a 94.2 defensive rating. They are also effective at limiting points allowed off turnovers, with the Sun ranking fourth in the league, allowing 14 points per game off turnovers, and the Liberty ranking third with the same amount. Given these defensive statistics, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Indiana Fever vs. Minnesota Lynx The Indiana Fever, with a record of 13-15 and 16-12 against the spread, will be traveling to the Target Center to face the Minnesota Lynx, who currently boast a record of 20-8 and are 17-10-1 against the spread. This matchup, set for Saturday evening, will be a non-conference clash. The Fever, positioned third in the Eastern Conference, will go up against the Lynx, who lead the Western Conference. This game marks the second of three regular season encounters between these teams, adding an extra layer of intrigue as we assess how they perform in this contest and whether the Fever can clinch the season series. At this point in the WNBA season, the Indiana Fever have shown significant improvement and appear to be functioning smoothly as a team. Their latest performance saw them secure a decisive 92-75 victory over the Seattle Storm at home. The Fever have been concentrating on their offensive efforts, ranking fifth in the league by allowing only 83 points per game, while shooting at a solid 45% from the field. However, their defensive performance has been less impressive, with the team ranked 11th in the league, allowing an average of 87 points per game. For the Fever to establish themselves as serious contenders as the season progresses, they must enhance their defensive capabilities. The Minnesota Lynx have demonstrated exceptional play this season and will need to maintain their high level of performance as the season advances. They will be entering this game after a back-to-back, -back, having faced the Las Vegas Aces the previous night. Offensively, the Lynx have been effective, currently ranked 6th in the WNBA with an average of 82 points per game. Their defensive efforts have been particularly strong, with Minnesota allowing just 75 and a half points per game, the second lowest in the league. To solidify their status as one of the top teams in the league, the Lynx must continue their dominant performance. While the Minnesota Lynx have the potential to achieve a significant victory over the Fever at home, I believe the Fever, especially with the points, present a valuable opportunity. The Fever defeated the Lynx last month in their only encounter of the season, despite being four and a half point underdogs. The Fever have had a week of rest, whereas the Lynx played the night before. Additionally, the Fever will be welcoming back Fagbeni from injury. Given that the Lynx are coming off an emotionally charged win against the Aces, there could be a chance for a letdown. Despite the Fever's less impressive road performance compared to their home games, the current circumstances make them worth considering as underdogs. Therefore, the Indiana Fever to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. In their previous two head-to-head -head games, the total points scored has gone under the projected total. As noted, the Minnesota Lynx have an average of 75 and a half points allowed per game, ranking second in the league, and they excel in defending against both field goals and three-point shots. With the Lynx playing on back-to-back -back nights, it is likely they will slow down the pace of the game when they have possession, resulting in fewer scoring opportunities for both teams. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.